I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Immutab is CEO Mark Fucht. Mark, welcome back to FNN. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Now, Immutab is a biotech focused on immunotherapy for cancer and autoimmune disease. What can you tell me about the progress? So the progress is going very well. Um, we had a very good year 2018 in both disease areas, immune oncology as well as in autoimmune diseases. All our programs have been uh, progressing, including uh, the ones we partnered to uh, Novartis and GlaxoSmithKline. And we hope for an even better year 2019. Excellent. And now, Mark, to your first half 2019 results. What were the highlights? From a business development point of view, I think it's notable that we entered into a collaboration with Pfizer and uh, German Merck in uh, September 2018. That was very good. So we have good traction in terms of business development, good traction in terms of our clinical as well as preclinical development. And coming a little bit to the number side of things, um, we have been uh, uh, at the period ending 2017, uh, we had round about 14 million cash in the bank and end of 2018 round about 26 million. So that's very important for a biotech company that we are well financed into the future, uh, in fact, towards uh, mid of 2020. So what can shareholders of Immutab expect for 2019? We should have a good year. So in terms of our lead program candidate FT Lagimod Alpha or IMP321, Every clinical trial will have either an interim or a final readout. So there is a lot of data to expect. Also our preclinical product candidate IMP761, um, where we will present data shortly, um, is moving forward. And also the partnerships with Novartis and GSK um, should deliver some data during the year. And with all the data you are expecting to collect this year, Mark, what will that mean for the company? So if the data is good, and of course we have a robust clinical trial program, so there is a, a decent chance to see good data. This should of course reflect also in uh, the valuation of the company and uh, in our business development efforts. Our business model is, as you may recall, uh, to uh, uh, generate data and then to out license to the right parties. And uh, this we try to achieve during the year 2019 in terms of the fundament of robust data. And Mark, you're planning on presenting some preclinical trial results at some up and coming conferences soon. What can you tell me about these? Beginning of March, um, we are planning to present at Copenhagen uh, at the so called ECHO conference preclinical data from IMP761. We already qualified in September last year that the data is positive, uh, but of course, it will be very interesting to see how the details are. And then also we are planning uh, to present uh, IMP321 or FT Lagimod Alpha results in San Diego uh, in terms of Tactimel, our clinical trial in metastatic melanoma. So your phase two trial with Tacti002 is about to commence recruitment for patients soon. What can you tell me about this and with the collaboration with Merck and Co? Yeah, indeed, it's a, a collaboration clinical trial, which we do together with Merck. They supply the drug called Ketruda, so a multi-billion dollar blockbuster. And the study is very important. It will uh, start in Australia and the United States as well as in Europe. And we plan to recruit patients in first line non-small cell lung cancer, second line non-small cell lung cancer and second line head and neck cancer. So a variety of different cancer settings up to 110 patients and uh, it's uh, a good clinical trial design, sim in two stage designs, so a very objective way you can run clinical trials. That sounds excellent, Mark. So to the last question now, is there anything else that you would like to add? Oh, there's a lot going on. Also our Pfizer collaboration, the clinical trial is expected to commence soon, is very important to us. And in general, um, I mean, our principle is that data will define a value. And this is exactly what we try to achieve during 2019. And uh, it will be a very busy year for us. Good news flow, I hope. Mark Vucht, thanks for the update. Thank you very much.